If the number is widely adopted and regulatory certification is taking place on a unified platform, the process of validating the background of any commercial entity should become highly automated, quick and hassle-free. It will also enable the different digital marketplaces, platforms, networks, and e-commerce systems to collaborate and deliver even higher value for all Ghanaians and citizens of after member countries. We see examples of such cross-platform connectivity currently in place in India, where the open network for digital commerce is accelerating the uptake of e-commerce by eliminating gaps and conflicts among providers. Such multi-stakeholder interoperable ecosystems are vital for expanding the benefits of digitalization, e-commerce, virtual marketplaces, and e-services to underserved populations in rural areas and among the urban classes. We also see similar developments in Estonia, Turkey, and Dubai. We intend to become global pace setters in how government, working in partnership with intergovernmental and intergovernmental authority like the AFTA Secretariat and the private sector, can roll out smart networks that deliver benefits for all consumers, businesses, agencies, and other critical after actors. Now, this platform is akin to the Pana Buyers Initiative that enabled the safe reopening of our borders and was also the product of multi-sectoral and cross-continental collaboration. I'm proud to announce that Ghanaian ingenuity and innovation powered and is powering both systems. The purpose of convening this forum is to refine and enrich this end game by making it mandatory for all businesses and enterprises running delivery, courier, logistics, postal, marketplace and digital commerce activities to register electronically with the right and relevant regulators. We expect online service providers such as Uber, Glovo, Bolt, Jumia, Tonaton, Yango, Amazon and others to ensure that all businesses registered on their platforms promptly secure their after number and start taking the necessary steps to integrate their transaction processes systems with the after hub. It's an ambitious project, but done properly, all customers of such businesses and services will be able to verify and validate their regulatory and compliance status, thereby increasing trust in the marketplace, boosting uptake of digital services, suppressing fraud, and increasing the efficiency of doing business in Ghana and beyond. Because the hub is also being rolled out in other markets, businesses would find that the benefits of the after number and the after common transaction framework will extend well beyond Ghana. Now I'm glad that telecoms, the telecoms industry is also present. They in particular should benefit from the related policy of deploying the hub as a common fraud reporting node and blacklist database harmonizer because of this regional element. We have the weird situation in Ghana caused by the fraud associated with e-commerce that instead of being able to pay electronically on ordering the service, the providers and the traders insist that payment be made on delivery. Now, that also exposes us to additional risk because there's no guarantee that the goods would either actually reach where they're going, where the, the people who ordered them, or that the payment for it would also be delivered to the, the traders on that platform. If payment were to be effected electronically because of the certainty that it is a secure platform. It will make it much, much easier to grow the e-commerce sector in this country. I also heard a horrifying um, story that one of these food delivery companies, food delivery, food vendors who have an online delivery service used an unregistered supplier to deliver the goods to the person who ordered it. 
and before the goods arrived at their destination, the rider had helped himself to significant portions of the food that he was supposed to deliver. Short of the person who ordered the food ranting and raving, he had no avenue to complain and no remedy for what had happened. And the courier uh, had also had a nice lunch at someone else's expense. It sounds funny, but then it affects the growth of the sector, which can become a game changer for all our SMEs. And so we need to look at putting in place measures that will enable these actions to be reported rapidly, dealt with quickly, and redress giving to either the producers or the procurers of those services. Without regional solutions as well, criminals will exploit, exploit the gaps among countries to evade apprehension. And so the NCA, the Ghana Chamber of Telecoms, the Ghana, I'm sure that we all know of horrifying stories of people who order goods online the goods are paid for electronically, and they never get delivered. And then when checks are made on the background of those entities, they don't exist. And that also affects the, the growth of the sector. And so it's incumbent on all of us actors who are determined to grow um, digital and online trading activities to work together to ensure that we close these gaps, not just locally, but regionally as well. And so I'll urge the NCA, the Chamber of Telecoms, the Ghana ISP Association and related bodies to speed up the rollout of the after hub across all telecoms networks as a common anti-fraud engine, business directory service, and after implementation accelerator. This should make it more difficult for fraudsters to use online sales and mobile money payments for online transactions as a means to defraud the unsuspecting public as small trade moves online. The rollout of the hub to ensure that Ghanaian businesses have a trusted profile beyond Ghana to strengthen the hands of industry and regulators to fight fraudsters who will also like to use the after hub to regionalize their nefarious activities and to facilitate marketplace convergence and regulatory efficiency will accelerate the integration agenda of APTA. And it is an, an idea whose time is long overdue, but one that is finally here. With your input, suggestions, and ideas, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we can make it not merely a success, but a spectacular one at that. And so I'm very happy, on behalf of the government of Ghana, to declare our commitment to the APTA hub and to officially launch it in Ghana. I thank you for your attention. And may God bless us. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click on the bell for more updates.